and the thrilling two-horse race finale. Native River, ridden by champion jockey Richard Johnson, has beaten the favourite and might bite to win the Gold Cup at Cheltenham. In racing, you need that bit of optimism, and with what seemed the most open of Gold Cups, punters certainly required it. So many factors, not least the soggy stamina sapping conditions. So while there were 15 runners, this proved the ultimate two horse race. Of course, I was there uh, just sampling the atmosphere yesterday and we've been taking in the sights of the sounds of the festival all week, of course. And a group of people who never fail to lift the spirits are those who are playing beside the best mate statue in the AP McCoy statue, if you know where that is, just in front of the huge screen uh, near the parade ring. Um, we heard them at the race course yesterday, didn't get to talk to them live on air. And I do remember that they were in exactly the same place the year before as well. Uh, they're a group of musicians and our reporter Annabelle Dry has been chatting to them today. So let's hear from them. One, two, oh, one. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Hi, I'm Nick. I'm the uh, uh, drummer and the singer from the Hitcats. We're here to entertain the crowds. We do all of the Cheltenham race events. And um, the idea is that we play happy, upbeat music to keep people cheerful even when it's raining. <laughs> what sort of music do you do? We do jazz and swing and Latin music, blues, all that kind of thing. This is your third year here? Uh, yeah, third year, so we've done about 45 events I should think so far. Really? Yeah. And what's the reaction been from people? They love it, they kind of, um, they, they wander by, um, some of them start dancing, occasionally people will try and sing a song with us, it's always a good atmosphere. <laughs> Um, well, the festival particularly is bonkers. If you come on a on a normal race day, there's probably about less than half the number of people. But it's um, it's a much better atmosphere just because of the number of people that are here. Yeah, and I'm sure there's a big response from the crowds here when you play. Oh yeah, yeah. You always get a nice crowd of people around, and uh, and you get quite a few celebrities sort of passing by and giving you a wave as well, which is always nice. In that number, where the saints go marching. Do you think your music reflects the atmosphere at the festival? Oh, well, I love the fact that everyone really makes an effort at the festival. Everyone's really well dressed and they, they've come to have a really, really good time. So hopefully we just, um, I like to think we add a bit of class and a bit of cheerfulness to the proceedings. And um, by the end of it, everyone goes home with a great feeling. It's always great to see them, the musicians who, uh, if you go to the festival, if you're going tomorrow, they're just near the, the Best Mate statue, just behind the huge screen there. And uh, they're always in the same place every year. I speak as a veteran of three festivals now, <laughs> so I know where to find them. And uh, yeah, great cheery music and obviously everybody uh, getting into the spirit of things there as well. So.